Hey guys, it's Kugel again with another ROM review and this time I've got the Aquarius ROM version 1.2 for the OnePlus 3, so stay tuned for that. guys the Aquarius ROM now it's a relatively new ROM at least as far as I'm concerned I've never heard of this ROM I was actually very surprised let's get started on why so first of all in the uh, settings menu you can see about phone page in here you can see it is 7.1.2 uh, so it says slim one plus three so that probably means it does have some sources from slim ROM not really sure i didn't see anything on the forum post so it could be a dud it does have the may 5 security patches so that's the latest one a curious os version is 1.2 and this is the official date of release SLN status is enforcing so that is also something which you might need to understand this is an aosp cap rom so you do have a lot of features with a great stability with great battery life and a good enough performance and that is a very good combination of things. Let's get started with the features then. First of all, all the features are inside this called the Coral Reef. You do have navbar options, hardware key buttons, power button can be customized, all of that is available. Now, playback control is all available, but it doesn't have keyboard cursor control, which is a CM feature or line edge feature. Now, I will just be going over all of these features uh, just in a glance. You can go check out my video in the description where you can find a video which entails all the features which is available with an Android ROM right now. Now, in the other stuff, you do have lost screen settings where you have lost screen shortcuts and all that is available, lost screen torch, uh, lost screen charging info is available. This does have dash charging, so you don't need to worry about that. Weather options are available, double tap anywhere, finger fingerprint on other session is available and also fingerprint unlock is available which uh, basically forgoes any pin which you might need i really like that quick setting options are available where you have quick setting tiles you can customize that so you can see there is a quick setting tile for the quick setting uh, the full quick setting and also there is this option for small quick settings but the problem is it doesn't seem to work correctly this is still binded to your uh, dpi setting now right now i have the biggest dpi setting enabled in my preferred setting it does give me seven rows but here it just doesn't work correctly it does have small scrolling quick setting tiles so that is something there so all of these are available and that does work out correctly header options are available brightness slider brightness icon can be enabled or disabled status bar options with battery uh, clock settings network traffic indicator is available in the display settings you do have notification light which you can customize from here also battery light can be customized for four different uh, characteristics so that is battery low charging 90 percent and 100 percent charge so that is really cool i really appreciate that in the dashboard options you do have all of these but they doesn't really have the number of columns to be selected i would have really liked to have that because that would have been a very good cool feature to have it does have power notification control and you can customize that in the system and miscellaneous option you do have clear fab uh, clear all uh, location can be customized uh, three finger gesture is available and you can customize that you can use three finger for that or if you have enabled from here you can long press here and you can do the selected screenshot which is pretty cool now it does have substratum support and that does work out it is full oms so you don't need to worry about anything it does work out really well i use substratum on a daily basis and i really didn't have any issues with these now it does come with kernel auditor which is pretty cool you can customize that you can just look at all the features which is going on in here the kernel in here is a normal scaf kernel i guess uh, it doesn't really have anything special going on with it so yeah now the display options you do have all of the stuff which you normally find in any other uh calf rom so you do have that double tap to wake auto rotation all that is available you can customize that everything else is basically what you'd expect it does have one plus dose so you do have pickup pocket mode and handy motion screen of gestures can be customized and this is the slim style gesture setting so that is pretty cool it does have enough uh, options there notification slider does work out and that is something which i'm really appreciating because most new roms do have that working i really like that in the security option it does have quick unlock which is pretty cool to have but uh, once you have the fingerprint unlock options enabled well well the pin is no longer used but something you need to worry about is that it only works with four digit pin so yeah if you have a pin which is more than four digit and if you enable this 
yeah you're screwed you will have to go through the uh, team in and just delete the security path so yeah that's just something there apart from that there is nothing much available now uh, srgb mode is available in here but it does not work you might have to use ex kernel manager and use their kernel to get that working yeah that is it in the features now um uh, as you have probably noticed it does have a lot of features it does have enough features to keep you entertained. I really appreciate that. But yeah, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 because it is enough features to keep me entertained and is more than enough in most cases. And I really like that. So yeah, 7.5 out of 10. Now comes the battery life. Now this is where it actually surprised me a lot. Now you've already seen the level of features available with this ROM. Uh, it's quite a lot. The battery life which I received with this ROM at first was pretty amazing i uh the battery drain at the time was only like 0.4 percent uh standby drain and maybe 1.2 percent active drain which was amazing that was just something i did not really understand why it was happening because well it is an aosp cap rom and i can expect it to have a good battery life but that is an insane battery life. I didn't really get that kind of a battery life with anything. Then I actually installed all my applications and the battery life is still good. I'm still getting screen on time of about four, four and a half hours, which is pretty cool. But uh, at the start of it, it actually uh, took me by surprise. I didn't really expect it to have that good of a battery life. Then again, it just uh, trickled off to the normal settle down to about four and a half hours of battery life. Uh, screen on time, which is pretty cool. And I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 in battery life. Now comes the performance of it. Now performance is pretty good. It does have uh, about 139,337, which is on the normal echelon. It is normal for a USB cap from or any ROM for that matter on this phone. I appreciate that. Uh, Geekpen score is, I guess, more uh, different, I guess. It does have, this is a score which I received, 175, 1753 on the single score, a single thread. Uh, 1752 on multi-core score and computer score is 7238 uh, performance I'm gonna give it a 7.5 because of the anti two benchmark score it's pretty cool now the stability now I didn't really have a lot of issues with the stability but uh, there is issue with power amp which is normally there with with older ROMs, the uh, libraries, app native libraries doesn't work, uh, which is kind of a bummer. I didn't really have any issues where it just straight up hanged or anything like that. And SRGB does not really work. Uh, that's another thing which I was noticing. Apart from that, there's nothing much, but well, not having much is normal for other ROMs, but having one issue is not normal. And that is going to give it a little bit less score. So I'm gonna give it a 6.5 out of 10 on that. Now the camera, now camera is the normal scoring camera, which is the snap camera, which is normal. Uh, nothing special going on here. Everything works. I didn't have any issues with that. This is with the flash. It doesn't overexpose anything. Everything is crisp, but it does have noticeably higher uh, grain and uh, noise compared to something like uh, maybe Sultan XGS ROM. So this is the hair on uh, on basically my microphone uh, well, noise filter. So you do have that. You can see there is a little bit of noise there, which is common with uh, all the custom ROMs right now. So it's a mediocre, it's a normal, so seven out of 10. Now comes the aesthetics of it. Now it does have substrate and support. It is Google pixel styled uh, material design. Nothing special going on here. So again, seven out of 10 on that. So now comes the overall experience. As I've already said, I was pleasantly surprised with everything which I saw on this ROM. With the battle life, I was really surprised. And even with the battle life right now, I'm really surprised because it is a good battle life with all these features. And it does have all the features going on. It does have only one or two issues with stability, which is not a lot of issues. I still like it. And the performance is up to boot. I don't really mind the performance of it either. All the games I've played, all the uh, basic chatting I've done with this ROM, I didn't really have any issues. It didn't hang on me and I really like that. So overall experience, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. So yeah. Let me show you guys the boot animation, which is uh, honestly nothing special. So here is the boot animation for this ROM, which is Aquarius. I honestly wished a different boot animation than this a pixel boot animation, but hey, it looks cool. It does its job, I guess. I mean, what job does even a boot animation need to do? Yeah, nothing special. So yeah, here's the boot animation here. Kind of underwhelming, but hey, okay, that's cool. So yeah, there you have it. Um, the ROM is 
pretty good i didn't really have any issues with it and uh yeah one more thing is the icon patches these are the only icon which is available nothing special going on here so you might want to do something about that uh so yeah that is it with this rom then i like this rom for most reasons and uh, it it works correctly i didn't really have any issues and the battle life was pretty amazing but it is an aosp rom so that is to be expected i kind of think and yeah total score is going to math out to about 7.29 out of 10 uh, out of 10 and that's going to be 7.3 and uh, that's pretty cool that's a good score i guess in my opinion and uh, that is a really good thing it is not a unique rom but it's not generic like the other roms either so that does make it a special one so yeah i guess that much is it about the rom then hope you guys like the video please share subscribe like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye